Hey guys, it's Casey. How are you all doing? I may look crazy right now. That's because it's um, late at night. I actually just put my little Avery down to bed. I'm in my PJs, girlfriends. Um, I've had this makeup on for 14 hours. <laughs> I just, I, I, you know, I did like freshen up a little bit, but um, probably look kind of crazy and before I get started I'm here today with my April favorites just okay I'm gonna say that and then I'm gonna tell you one more thing before I get started um I've really felt like since I've had Avery okay she's almost a year old that um well you guys know I mean I've said before like I just don't have a lot of time to film videos and stuff and I feel like ever since I've had her when I have had time to film videos, I'm like this. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. Like this is life, you know, I just look like a normal person. But um, I feel like before I had her, I like, not every video, but in a lot of videos, I kind of did a little extra and like glammed up and wore false lashes and um, did all that stuff. And I've just been, really been craving that lately. But um, it's just like such an effort <laughs> to do that when it's like late. I know that when I'm finished filming this, I'm gonna take a shower and go to bed and get up tomorrow and like do the daily grind all over again. So I don't know, like I just want to do that so bad. So maybe sometime in the next couple of videos, I can do that. Um, I attempted it Saturday night I'm rambling, but I just have to tell you all this. I attempted it Saturday night at like 11 o'clock at night. I was filming this video, but um, the footage was just like not usable, you guys. I was telling a couple of my friends, my YouTube friends about it, Carrie and Kristen from Beauty Moxie and Carrie and McHale. Um, they're my girls. And I was like, you guys, I literally looked like if one of the colons was like a street walker, that's what I looked like. And I was like, no. <laughs> My white balance was completely off. So it didn't even look like I was wearing blush or bronzer or anything. It just looked like I was wearing white face paint and it was just not good. So I uh, have adjusted my white balance. So let me know what you guys think. But um, I've rambled for probably a couple of minutes now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my April favorites. The majority of this is face products because that's my, like my favorite makeup product is like face stuff. So um, it might be kind of disappointing for some of you guys, I'm sorry. But the first thing I have, speaking of colon status paleness, um, I wanted to share this with you guys. This is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Fair. This is a travel size that I got from their website, so it's like a little baby. And I had mentioned a couple videos back that the CC creams, I was kind of having some trouble with them because I felt like they would not set on my skin. Like they just always felt like I needed to powder or um, just kind of uncomfortable because I felt like I couldn't touch my face. And I have found that, um, of course, setting with powder and then using a setting spray pretty much takes care of that problem. Like I can totally wear those comfortably now. So I wanted to share this one with you for this shade specifically. This is fair. And um, I know for a lot of really fair girls, it can be kind of a challenge, especially in the drugstore, to find a foundation that's actually light enough for you. Even the shades like, let's say ivory or classic ivory and stuff like that sometimes are still just not quite the right tone. And when I am at my complete palest, like I have been for the past year, um, I've had that problem. And this is like the perfect shade when I am like at my absolute palest. So I just wanted to share that with you, with you guys. If you are really, really pale and you have that problem, you should try the um, CC Cream and Fair. Make sure you have a setting spray, but it's pretty good. Next up, while we're on the topic of IT Cosmetics, I have something else that I actually got at the same time I got that foundation. And this is the Bye Bye Pores Powder. And I have fallen in love with this. I adore this product. What it is, it comes with a little puff 
but it's basically just a really finely milled powder that comes in like a little sifter jar and it's white but it goes on translucent um, I can't even show you just watch it it's translucent but it just has like the coolest blurring effect on your skin and um, I said this in the video that I'm not going to upload <laughs> But I did want to say it again because I really feel like this is the matte version of like the hourglass, hourglass, um, hourglass ambient lighting powders. You know how if you've tried those, they just like blur all your imperfections, um, camouflage your pores. They just look so pretty and they're kind of like glowy. This does the same thing, but it's completely matte. So I've really been loving that. I've even been um, lightly setting my under eye concealer with that. And I really, really like it. So I'm really happy with that. The next thing I got in the VIB sale, this was such a splurge for me. It's pricey. And it's the first one of these that I've ever gotten. But it's so worth it. And now I want another one. <sighs> That's like the problem here, you know. But it is one of the Becca Mineral Blushes. And this shade that I got is called Flower Child. I'm wearing it today. I mean, is that not gorgeous? Can you see it? I tried to really like pile it on. I feel like my bronzer is kind of overpowering it in the viewfinder, but in person, I can see that pink flush coming through. This is the most gorgeous pink blush I think I've ever used, ever. I mean, that's huge for me to say that because I'm a major like blush person. But this is a gorgeous pink with a sheen, girlfriends. Oh my goodness. I wanted Songbird, but it was sold out. But I'm so happy with this one. I think I said that in my haul video, actually. But there is a swatch of it there. It is just absolutely gorgeous. And I just feel like in a swatch, it kind of looks kind of plain. Like you're thinking, well, I have several blushes that probably look like this. And you probably do swatched but there is something magical that <laughs> happens when i put this on my cheeks um it just shows up so well i mean obviously i'm fair right now but i just think almost any skin tone could wear this and it just makes you look so healthy and i feel like that is a like a lot of blushes are described that way and i've even said it before myself but honestly like this blush makes you look this and the frat and the balm frat boy are like the two blushes that just make you look so healthy i just love it and the sheen is not shimmery it's not glittery it's just that right amount of glow and it's just absolutely perfect and i think it's so worth the splurge okay something else that's you know kind of like a higher end item but i've just really been enjoying it for the past couple of months is from MAC and it's one of the, I believe these are called shaping powders or sculpting powders or something like that, but this is called Emphasize. And it is just a stark white matte powder that I like to use um, to highlight my face and set my under eye concealer. And there's a swatch of it there. I mean, it's just like completely white. Well, you can't even see it there because it blends in with my white hand, but um, it's just really smooth. and. What I love the most about it is it gives me that perfect V like highlighted look that I've honestly just never been able to really go there before. And I just feel like that does it better than any other product I have that I've tried. So I've really been enjoying that. And then for a more affordable kind of favorites, um, I'm going to show you the eye combo that I've been wearing really, I've been wearing this for a really long time. Like, a long time but um this month definitely <laughs> in the mornings i've been kind of rushed because um avery's on some kind of new weird schedule tonight was a really good night because she was asleep by 8 30 and that would be perfect for me if she would do that every night and she had been but lately um just, she's getting older and she's changing i'm hoping this is just temporary but she's wanting to take like a later nap so she's not going to bed until super late usually and so in the mornings when I get up super early to go to work, I'm just like, slap something on my face. Come on, let's go. 
So I'm going to show you the combo that I've been wearing recently. And these are all from Makeup Geek except one. So the first one is Makeup Geek Vanilla Bean. And this is just a matte cream color. It's just a perfect highlight shade. It's not quite like emphasize. I don't even know if you can see that. It's right there. This, I feel like I'll never be without this now. It has a significant dent in it. Like I think I'm going to hit pan soon. Pan. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Pan. Um, but what I will do with that, I will definitely highlight the brow bone with that. But before I do anything, I apply my paint pot and then I take that all over the eye area from the lash line to the brow bone. Because if I'm going to wear shadows, I have to do that to get my crease color to blend. Otherwise, it will not blend on me. If I'm not even wearing any eyeshadow, I will still like set the paint pot with that. And it's just perfect because it's the same color as my skin, so you can't see it, but yet it keeps my eyelids from creasing. So I love that. That's my number one step. Number two is I go in with Makeup Geek Latte. And this is just a medium matte brown. Just that perfect staple color that everyone needs. And I will apply that in my crease with just a really fluffy brush just to get a, a you know, a, a washed out kind of application of that. And then I will do one of two things. I will either take Makeup Geek um, Foiled Shadow in Grandstand. This is my favorite foiled shadow that I have from her. And this is just a perfect bronzy color where have these been my whole entire life like it's just gorgeous oh my gosh i just love it and this is actually what i have on right now now granted this has been on for a long time may not look the freshest but it's a really pretty look and then the days when i don't wear grandstand i will take mac woodwinked and it's basically it's very similar to grandstand but i feel like this is a cooler tone it's not quite as bronzy it's more of like an antique golden kind of color with, you know, some bronze in it. But you can see the difference. This is Woodwinked and this is Grandstand here. So um, either one of those, though, I think work with those other colors. And that's just what I've been pulling for like every day. Well, the days that I haven't worn the Coastal Scents Revealed 2 palette. I really like it too, but I haven't had it long enough to be in April Favorites. That's all my favorites, guys. I don't have any lip products. Um, if I was going to pick one, it would be the same one that was in my last monthly favorites, which is the Gerard Cosmetics Nude Gloss. I've still been um, putting that in my pocket every day and taking it to work and reapplying that. So um, if I was going to have a favorite lip product, it would definitely be that. Other than that, I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, look in the info bar and I'll list out all the products that I am wearing on my face if you are curious. They're very long wearing. <laughs> so anyway, hope you guys are having a great spring and I will see you next time. Bye.